Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you what I normally carry in my EDC bag. And EDC is everyday carry, for those of you who do not know or are new to this whole uh, section of living. Um, so I'm going to start with uh, just uh, some of the normal things I always have on me um, at all times or in my pockets. So to start with, obviously we have the wallet, we have the phone. This is a Victoria Knox Explorer in black. I chose it uh, partially because it has a magnifying glass on it, which in itself is a fire starter. It has the blades, uh, bottle openers, Phillips, all the other fun stuff. Sunglasses, which are actually uh, safety glasses, shaded safety glasses. Keys and handcuffs. Where I live, there is no law against carrying handcuffs, and I prefer that uh, method of self-defense over stabbing or tasing or beating or, you know, doing anything that could actually leave serious damage. So that is what I carry on me at all times in my pockets. So we'll put those aside, and we'll actually start to dig into the bag here. On the outside, well, to start with, it's a Camelback Scout. Uh, there's a water bladder that's usually in here. I took that out. I don't use it. I don't want it to burst and get my stuff wet or whatever. But on the outside, we have a compact folding shovel. I've read a lot of good and bad things about these. Personally, I love it. It's amazing. Um, a lot of the problems that people have with these tines bending, I just uh, bent that whole section forward so there's not as much pressure pushing it backwards. It's at a better angle for it. And that solved all of those problems. And then under that, I have 50 feet of paracord. And it's wrapped up in such a way that it actually makes a spool in itself. If I uh, just started to pull on it, it would come undone. It's just slip knots going back and forth all the way around in circles. So it's very, very easy to tie, just time consuming, and it's super duper helpful because I can just pull off just what I need without having to unroll a whole roll of it. On the side here, this is a Ronco Pocket Fisherman. I'm not going to take it off, but as you can see it unfolds. It has a reel um, inside the handle here. It's a little tackle box for a fishing kit. adjustable drag I and mean, you can look these up they're awesome I recommend you getting one this little uh, side pouch here this little side pouch is what I use to carry the camera that I'm filming this with and all the cables for all my stuff and I'm not gonna have outlets normally wherever I go so this is actually a Solar or solar charger that I could plug right into a USB port. So you can see the light going off and coming back on. That's just uh, telling me whether the solar panel is actually getting power or not, whether it's charging or not. Then I have a USB port here and a micro USB slot here. So this will charge everything electronically that I take with me. And inside here, I'm not going to pull them all out, but I have all the, the cables and stuff for everything I have. I, I have a lot of friends with iPhones and stuff, so I have iPhone attachments for this just so I can help them out too as long as I'm on the go. So that's that. Put that back on. Yeah, whatever. Front pouch. Don't use the front pouch as much, but five bucks. Good for bus money or whatever, um, Sharpie, obviously useful, jeweler's loop, uh, doubles as a fire starter, but I can, uh, I actually do a lot of jewelry hunting, I just found, uh, three gold rings this last weekend, just at garage sales, and those, uh, have about a thousand dollars of combined value. A pen. Uh, players. 
you use them for everything. A lighter. Never go anywhere without one. Fishing yo-yo. Never go anywhere without it either. Um, obviously, because it's my everyday carry bag. But I would recommend if you don't already have some of these, pick some up. I'm not going to go too much into fishing yo-yos because there's already a zillion videos out there on them and I don't need to make another one. I have a key ring. Um, there's a zillion uses for these. I'm not going to go into all of them, but uh, they're just super duper useful. I have a magnesium bar, a flint rod on it, starting fires, obvious purpose. I have an extra buckle, very useful for a zillion things if something of mine ever breaks or snaps, just quick easy fix. Another lighter. Another Sharpie. And I also have a little button compass. And I think that is it for the front. So, right as we open it here, I like this bag because it actually comes all the way down and opens very, very wide for me. Scoot this bag up so I'm better in the frame. Just like that, it lets me have access to everything I have in there. So, let's start it on this. Right on top here, we have uh, these Coleman camp scissors, which have a zillion functions in themselves. Both sides are knives. I got a fish scaler, I got some hex head, uh, you know, if I wanted to screw or unscrew something. Um, I got bottle openers, got can openers, I got a, either a pliers or a, like a jar opener, got wire cutters and strippers, I've got a, 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 there's the bottle opener there. Just uh, These are super duper cheap, under 10 bucks at Walmart, pick one up if you don't have one. These are used for absolutely everything, I use this thing every day. We have binoculars. Uh, these are excellent. I mean, I do a lot of walking and hiking, so I can see what's ahead of me if I have, if I'm not sure uh, which street or trail to go down. I can see farther down that. See if I can see any street signs or something. See if I can uh, see any game in in the fields or in the trees if I'm out hunting. Obviously, binoculars have their uses. Uh, flashlight. What's cool about this one? It's actually a chargeable flashlight with a locking uh, little handle on it so this thing can stay down. It's pretty bright. Battery life is good on this thing. What I don't see a lot of people bring in their EDC bags is water. Water is essential. I know you have uh, filters and purification tablets and you can boil it and stuff but that takes a lot of time and energy whereas if you just brought a bottle it uh, saves a whole lot of time and effort this bottle is also reusable, and I can use it for drug fishing or anything else like that. Um, along with water, I have trail mix. I was munching on this earlier. Just a local grocery store picks them up. Good stuff. Um, what's really nice about these is it's actually got a resealable bag. It's like a giant Ziploc bag. You'll notice that uh, the things I carry they are in reusable packaging. I don't carry little granola bars and stuff because that's just a bunch of little foil that, you know, it really has no place to go for me. It's not going to be much use for me. I can put things in it even after I empty it. So, this is not a normal item I carry. It's just a strap bandage. I got in a motorcycle accident uh, about a week ago. So, that's just an uh, extra wrap for my leg here. Under that, it looks like raw beef patty. But, that's in there for now. Pocket tissues. Some people carry a whole roll of toilet paper. I don't have room for that in this bag, so this serves the same purpose and more. 
Altoid Survival Tin. Um, I also shine up the back. Uh, I didn't go overboard and buff it to like be a super duper fine mirror, but this reflects just as well as a mirror would. I'm not gonna go through all the contents in this video, but I got 20 bucks on top. I got tin foil, band aids, fishing hooks, and a bunch of stuff down in there. So that's that. Oops. And it stays closed on its own, but you know, just to make sure, I put rubber bands on there. Plus, rubber bands are useful for things. I've got mechanics gloves. Um, I work at a motorcycle repair place, so obviously these are useful to me. These are useful for a lot of other things like, than that too. If you're out in the wilderness and you're gathering wood or you know doing whatever, you do not want to have your hands cut up or burnt or blisters or anything that really, really sets you back. Um, gloves are pretty much essential. Flashlight, another one. This one's super duper bright. Uh, it is a DT100L, I think it's an Ozark Trail or something. Or OT, that would be Ozark Trail, not DT, sorry. But it's got a little push button on the back. Super slim, it fits anywhere I want to put it. Super useful. We have a drinking straw for water. Stick that in a stream, pond, whatever lake. This will filter out a ton of heavy metals and toxins and stuff in it, making it pretty much safe to drink. I would not rely on something like this as your main source of purification, but this is just for a quick drink on the trail or whatever. I go fishing almost every day, so this is probably more than what you would normally carry just for a survival fishing kit. But I got lighter, frog, tweezers, line bobbers, you know, other side I already showed you. I got some treble hooks, which are the uh, the three pronged ones. I've got some eye hooks for making actual fishing line or fishing rods. Got my weights and baits and everything else in there. So that's a little compact fishing kit. Bandana. It's very bright. It's not a dark color. It'll actually keep me very cool when I need it. It's good for first aid and everything else too. Um, this is 100% cotton. I can make char cloth out of this. I can do a zillion things with this. So it's, it's pretty fun. This is a slingshot. I chose... I have a bunch of slingshot frames and stuff, but this one I chose because it's very, very small and light and it has a wrist strap on it so that takes off a lot of pressure for my hand I need to put more bands on it right now it's empty I shouldn't have that empty but you know even rubber bands or condoms will work if I need them to first aid kit when I got my motorcycle accident this came in much much needed use so I've got more in there than the average person would normally have in theirs there's a bunch of things tucked in the back also that you can't see, but it's got everything I need, plus another lighter. It's got ibuprofen, neosporin, tape. I got thread and needle in there if I actually need to sew something up. So that's that. It's in a bright red case with first aid clearly marked on it. So if somebody had to do something for, to me, it would be no problem with them finding this in my bag. Twine huge roll of twine. This is great stuff. The amount of uh, feet I get out of this is ridiculous to how much it weighs. Like, super duper light for how much I've, I get with it. And uh, twine is also useful. If you you want to skip on the whole tinder part, just, you know, light it up or strike it up or whatever. I mean, you can make a candle out of it. You can, you know, you don't have to use your striker so much. One little flame, it'll burn for a while. You can, you know, obviously you can find uses for that. 
but that's twine. Super useful stuff. I use this a lot, tie down stuff, keep things together, whatever. Spoon fork knife, I use these also quite a bit, um, especially when I go over to other people's places. I don't, you know, college roommates and stuff, they don't always, you know, keep their dishes clean and all that. If, I, if you look, you'll probably be disgusted by what's actually on them if you take a closer look. So I always have my own, I always clean everything directly after I use it, so it's super easy to clean. In the side here, this is a Coleman, uh, just a camp saw. has a locking blade on it. It actually cuts through very, very, very well. I'm surprised at how well this thing works, and it's super duper sharp. So, and it's, it's uh, ridiculously light for how much you might look at it and think it weighs. It's made of plastic. It's a hard plastic. It's got a grip on it and a little lanyard hoop. But uh, since there's a blade that comes in right there, it might cut your rope if you put something through there. So I just wouldn't suggest it. I got a fillet knife. I go fishing almost every day. So if I catch anything big or whatever, if I'm out where I can't really get back to somewhere, it's useful. Then I got this. Uh, it's a little Coleman. Uh, you can just find these for like 10, 15 bucks at Walmart. A little knife. It's it, it's cheap. It's priced like ridiculously well for the quality you get out of it. I've used this thing for a ton, and this thing does not bend, does not break on me. It does it does keep its edge very well. It's very easy to clean. Um, obviously, you don't want to, you know try to pry anything with it or abuse your knives you want to keep your edges on them the case it's actually a lot of knives come with really cheap cases but this one is built uh, decently well it's got a nice belt loop it's reinforced it's not flimsy it's got a buckle keep it in place it's not gonna slide out on you but that's that and in the bottom here I have my cookware set, which in itself is ridiculously filled to the top as its own survival kit. So directly on top, I have a rain poncho. I have a, another bandana, which is actually put out by the DNR as a bright orange colorful bandana and you can see it has a bunch of survival instructions first aid stuff already on it so that is very very helpful in itself and wrapped up in that I have a lens which is larger than normal for what people carry which makes it ridiculously easy to actually start fires under that I have water bottle just a plastic bag bottle it's super compact. That's why I carry it. I have a multi-tool in there. It's got your Phillips, your flatheads, uh, your knife, your bottle openers, wire cutter, spring loaded. It's pretty cool. I got it for like, you know, six, seven bucks at an auto parts store. It works decently well for the price. In here I've got a spool of 65 pound test braided spider wire, it's fishing line. And this stuff, I can use it to sew, I can lash things together with it, I can fish with it, I can do whatever with it. It will not break on me. I can pull ridiculously hard on it, it will not break on me. Um, it, it's actually ridiculous how strong this stuff is. But this is actually a spool of like a little ice fishing pole. And I have the pole in my other larger bag. So when I put uh, my smaller bag my everyday carry bag and my bug out bag. Um, they're both together. But this I can obviously use a nail on a pop can piece or something and make another pole. If you haven't seen my other video already. A little cleaning pad. It's, uh, it's like soft and rough at the same time. It's pretty cool. It'll keep my crap clean. It's really, really easy to clean stuff with it. Paracord bracelet. If I didn't have one already, this is a K2 
keep this one around my ankle. So you can see there's probably about 30 feet of line wrapped in there with a small hook and all the paracord. So I sometimes just uh, stop by and go fishing with that if I don't have anything else with me. Pack of hand warmers. Uh, compressed towels. Got a whistle. Got a roll of duct tape. I've got a very, very large, uh, they're like, it's almost like aluminum foil. It's called like mylar. And inside of it, it's actually, it's a blanket, but it's got survival instructions and stuff printed right on it for how to build shelters and all that stuff. Uh, even more extensively than the survival bandana does. So this is a uh, shelter and cover and everything else in there. Then I've got a little miniature fishing kit. Um, I got some nails and some hooks and eye hooks. Got gouge hooks. I got a sewing kit on this side. Obviously there's a lot of room in there to put more stuff. I'm probably going to put some compressed towels in there or something. Maybe salt packets, whatever. I got another little button compass. I've got uh, little fire starters. Uh, they're like uh, cotton soaked in stuff. So I just fluff out the end, spark it, and it'll light up like a little candle. I've got a lighter in the bottom. I've got a mirror for hygiene and signaling. You can see the camera I'm using. A little flip. Inside here, it's just a piece of duct tape folded over, but I've got uh, fishing hooks and weights and eye hooks and other stuff right in there. So I just uh, tear that open and I'll have all my fishing supplies right here if I didn't have some already. This will fit right in your wallet. You know, you can make one of these and just slide it in like a credit card and you have fishing tackle right there. Another compressed towel. Let me get down to the bottom here. I have scissors, oops, grab those, scissors for my sewing kit, for little things, nothing that I really need to bring a big knife out for, and a bunch of salt packets. You can just pick these up at uh, movie theaters or restaurants or whatever, they're free. I also have a plate in here, besides just the pot, and that just sits on the bottom. So. Done. Since this is a camelback and there's a spot for a water pouch or bladder as they're called, I actually keep a compass back there. This is a Brunton Classic. I've had this thing for years and it's never failed me. I absolutely love this thing. And, oh, well, I guess that's all there is in there. But there you go. That's what I carry in my bag. Can you believe all of that crap fits in this little tiny bag? It's a little ridiculous, but there we go. Um, obviously, for survival, you don't really need all that much, um, but I find that it helps to have all that stuff because then you don't spend all your time and energy trying to gather food and gather water and you know make your own fishing line or make your own rope or try to f gather all that little tender all the stuff that you would normally be doing to try to survival camping you don't have to do that because you already have a lot of that stuff with you um, so yeah if you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions or anything you might want to add or whatever just post them below